we're down to the last two question type. Okay, and I hope that you are still with me. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so this question studies sources A and B. Source A has a different has different views about the Cuban Missile Crisis from Source B. Does it mean that one of them is wrong? Okay, so this question is uh, a little different compared to the other few sources because this question has already established okay, the assumption for us. They have already let us know that source A and source B are different. Okay, so now they are telling you that yes, I am aware that source A contradicts source B. Okay, but does this really mean that one of the sources is wrong? So when they ask you a question like this, okay, what you will realize is that you will need to evaluate both sources. Okay, because if you don't evaluate both sources, then you cannot tell uh, whether both are wrong or whether both are correct or whether one is wrong and one is correct. Okay, so again, we always start with the more basic step. Okay, which is to number one, ATQ, answer the question exactly, and do your cross-referencing between the two sources. The two sources stated in the question. Okay, why do we still need to cross-refer even though they have already established that they have two different views? Okay, for such questions, right, you always need to tell us first the two sources stated in the question. Okay, what is the point that they are trying to make? Okay, yes, I know that they have different views, but I still need you to tell me what these different views are. Okay, before you can go on to examine the provenance and the purpose and all that of the source. Okay, so ATQ exactly and do your cross-referencing. Okay, sources A and B. Are different in showing, let's say for example, who the victor, so the winner of the Cuban Missile Crisis is. Okay, and then give me a reasoning. Okay, since source A. contradicts source B it does mean that one of them is unreliable and thus wrong Okay, so what I'm doing here is that I'm writing out my linking statement right at the very beginning so that I don't forget to write the linking statement once I'm done. Okay, so I've answered the question here already. Whatever things I write below will then be uh will then be considered a valid answer. Okay, so then I will go on to explain the sources individually. So source A states blah 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 and therefore this shows that usa was the victor of the cmc whereas source b states okay and shows that uh, the ussr was the victor of the cmc okay then we'll go on to our next step okay so remember i said that you will need to evaluate both sources and when we are checking whether a source is wrong Okay, we are checking the reliability of the source. Okay, so what we need to do now then is therefore to evaluate the reliability of both sources. So similar to the first question, okay, evaluation of reliability, there are two ways we go about doing this, which is cross-referencing and evaluation of provenance. And like what I've already said just now, okay, since over here they really tell you what, they contradict each other, does it mean one of them is wrong? 
he is really telling you that cross referring is not the best way to do it. So yes, you can use cross referring again, okay, to check both sources. So you cross refer A to maybe C and cross refer B to D, for example. But this is a very very lengthy process, and I really do not recommend it. Okay, it will take you. An extraordinarily long time for a question that is probably only worth six or seven marks. Okay, so instead, I will straight away go to evaluating the provenance of both sources A and B. Okay, and you will do it the same way as you did uh over here lah. Just that your linking statement would be different. Okay, so your linking statement. Will have to be linked to whether the source is wrong or not. Okay, so for example, example only ah. Okay, source A is likely to be biased, and therefore. Unreliable and wrong. Okay, and source B has proven to be a let's say objective source and is therefore correct. Okay. As such, okay, it is true that one of them is wrong. Okay, but of course you might meet a situation. Okay, whereby both sources, okay, might be reliable. Okay, or both might also be unreliable. Okay, then you will just need to tweak your linking statement accordingly. Okay, to say that ah. Although source A and B have different views about the Cuban Missile Crisis, okay, it doesn't mean that one of them is wrong because it has been proven that both are reliable. Or source A and B have different views about the CMC. However, it does it could also mean that both of them are wrong because both have been proven to be unreliable. Okay, so it's really about answering the question. Okay, just remember and tell yourself, I need to read the question, I need to address the question, and I need to answer the question ATQ exactly. Okay, I think this has been repeated to death by your history teachers and social studies teachers by now already. So please, 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 okay, drill this into your head. Remember to ATQ. Okay, the questions are given to you for a reason. Okay, don't just write it however you want it to be. All right. Okay, our next question: Study sources A and B. Source A contradicts source B in terms of blah blah blah. Okay, this is the exact same starting line as our previous question. Ah, the only difference here is that it says, "Does it make one of them useless?" Okay, so do you use the exact same steps as the previous questions? Yes. Is your linking statement the same? Not exactly. Okay, because why is it different here? You need to evaluate the usefulness of a source. So your linking statement, okay, there needs to be something additional to this. Okay, is that you have to say reliable and therefore useful. Okay, or you are checking. The provenance of the source, and you are saying not reliable, and therefore limited in usefulness. Okay, so just make sure that you change, you tweak your linking statements accordingly. Okay, remember our focus has always been to A T Q. 
Alright, and then we'll take a break before we move on to our very last type of hybrid question. And then we will see if you and check for your understanding.